Hi YouTube, today we're gonna talk about macros. So if you came from my Instagram video, I went through it very fast in 90 seconds, so I wanted to break this down in a slower, more organized way for you so you can really get education from this topic and implement it in your fitness journey so you can have an easier time getting to your goal. Remember, macros, calories, workouts, steps, all these things are different tools in your tool belts to help you feel, look, perform better. So to start off, Macros actually stands for macronutrients. Now, macronutrients is a subunit of the calories that we eat per day. So calories are the big guy here. And underneath calories, they're made up of three different sections. So our proteins, our carbohydrates, and our fats. So protein, carbs, and fats. Now our bodies, every body is different by the way, need different amounts of these three categories to make up our calories to run properly. So think about a car with gasoline. So the gasoline is the calories and then the type of gasoline, if it's like premium or something like that, it's like the macros portions that you're eating. So you kind of think of it that way. So protein is the building block of muscle. We're going to simplify this too, okay? It's the building block of muscle. Carbs give us energy to do things throughout the day and fats are amazing especially for women for our hormone health now each of these you're gonna have people measuring grams so you'll probably hear people say like oh i'm eating 130 grams of protein and you're like wait what the heck does that mean so let's say you eat 130 grams of protein right now let's say our goal is to eat 2,000 calories per day so in order to get this to this unit of calories 130, there is four calories for one of these grams of protein. So I'll do 130 times four, right? Because protein is four calories per gram. And then that equals, let's see if I can do this like this, for 520 calories. So of 2,000 calories, 520 are protein. Now, same thing with carbs, four calories per gram. So let's say I'm eating 200 grams of carbs, I would multiply it by four, 800 calories of my 2000. And then to get fat, it's nine calories per gram, which basically means, you know when people say like, if they have a handful of nuts, it's such a little amount, but it's like 400 calories. Whereas if I have a bunch of chicken, it's less calories because the volume of chicken is only four, whereas fats is doubled. So you can think of it that way, like a little scoop of peanut butter is a lot of calories, whereas a whole banana is probably the same amount of calories as that little scoop. It's because of this nine and four difference. So 75 grams of fat times nine is 675 calories of 2000. So if I add all these up, it should equal or be around 2000 calories. So that's the math behind macros, but remember, protein building block muscle, carbs, energy, fats, hormone health, so they all play an important role. The reason that we track them is because calories will determine how much we weigh, which is great. Like, okay, if you wanna lose 30 pounds and that's your goal and you hit your goal weight, that's awesome. But that's where a lot of my clients come to me and they're like, okay, I lost the weight, but I don't feel toned. I don't feel lean, I don't feel strong, I feel tired. It's most likely because they only track this and they weren't tracking these. So if we don't track these, and we don't eat maybe enough protein, then we don't have that building block of muscle, right? If we don't have enough carbs, we don't have enough energy. If we don't have enough fats, we don't have our hormone health optimized. So this will determine how we look and how we feel, including micros, okay? So micros, we're turning, an, or we're adding another thing into the mix with micros because with protein, carbs, and fats, so proteins like chicken, steak, Greek yogurt, eggs, egg whites, things like that. Carbs are our potatoes, our veggies, our fruits. A lot of people don't know that veggies and fruits are carbs, but they are. And then fats are like nuts, avocado, peanut butter, things like that. So 
if we have our micros in each of them, so let's say a banana is high in potassium or a clementine is high in vitamin C, those are our micros, which are definitely important to have. That's why I preach the importance of whole foods, so ingredients that are only one ingredient. Like, again, a clementine, the ingredient is a clementine versus a like a protein bar, there's just like a bunch of other stuff in it. Those give us our micros, those whole foods. So calories, how much we weigh, macros, how we look, and micros, how we feel. Now this video, I just want to focus on the education around macros. I do have a whole video that teaches you how to calculate these numbers, which I'll put below. But now we're going to head downstairs and I'm going to show you actually the food labels and show you how to read each of these so then you're not only looking at the calories, but you can see the protein, carb, and fat content of the food that you're eating. Okay, we're gonna start off pretty easy over here with some Parmesan cheese. I'm gonna show you a ton of examples, but I think that this will be easiest to just like grab a bunch of random foods that are mostly in people's diets and then show you how to read the food labels because this is kind of messy, right? So here's our food label. Calories, 110 for 28 grams of this cheese. Now we're gonna look at the bold total fat, eight grams. Don't worry about any of these. Don't even worry about that. Don't worry about that. Carb, one gram. And then don't worry about any of these. Protein, nine grams. So we have fat, carb, protein, calories. Those macros that we were talking about. Now when you're just starting your fitness journey, again, you're looking at calories, then you're taking a one step level up and you're looking at fat, carb, protein. Now in the future, we can definitely look at dietary fiber, but I just want you to start here because it's already confusing. And then another thing to look at is, I love these ingredients, cow's milk, cheese, salt, rennet, whatever that is, milk. There's not much foods in there that, or ingredients in there that I don't know how to pronounce and I like that. Next example is gonna be a protein bar. So we lift this up, just making it sneaky on us. Calories, 140 for one bar. Now let's see, can you find the fat? Right there, total fat, 2.5 grams. Then we find carb, 14 grams. Protein, 17 grams. That's how you're gonna read that and add them up. Now you might be thinking, okay, where do I add this? I've just been writing my calories in a notebook all my life. How do I level up and actually know how many macros I'm eating? You can use the video below to calculate your macros, okay? And then after that, you can download one of two apps, Chronometer, which I like, uh, or MyFitnessPal, which I also like. I think it's easier to just use the free version of both of them. And then do not use the calories or macros they set for you because they lowball it so much. They'll, they'll put you so low, like 1,200 calories. You don't want any of that, right? Like 1,500 calories and above. I don't think anyone should be below that. Then you're gonna put your macros in there and the ones that you calculated, not the ones that they gave you. And you're gonna start logging your foods and you can literally on, on the apps, just scan this barcode, add them. And then you're just gonna look at your protein, carbs, and fats for the day and it's, kind of like a Tetris game. So you're just trying to like fit everything in there. My biggest tip with being new to tracking or macros is to pre-track your day before you eat. A lot of times my clients have a hard time because they'll be like, oh, Julia, I'm at the end of my night and I have eight grams of fat left, 200 grams of protein left and like five carbs left. What the heck should I eat? So to avoid that, you just be one step ahead and you pre-track everything so in the morning you know like you're having your coffee you're scrolling on social media instead you're right in your app my fitness pal chronometer and you're logging okay i think i'm gonna have this for lunch today and this for dinner and this for my snack and you like adjust the portion sizes it takes like five ten minutes at first it's going to take a while and it's going to be tedious but after a few weeks you're going to get the hang of it and then you're going to be like whoa i feel so much better because i'm actually eating the proper portions of my calories so Definitely recommend doing that. If you have any questions, you can comment below. And I am taking people for one-on-one -on -one coaching starting in June now. So if you apply, we can set up a call, but your start date will most likely be in June. So yeah, I hope this is helpful. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, concerns in the comments, or you can DM me on Instagram. And I love you guys. Bye.